Alright guys, so as you remember, last time we left off, we made the bar, and no, not the bar, sorry. We made game passes work, and I think some other things, such as two times win, two times speed, and two times jump. Today, what we're going to be working on is mainly the UI, and we're also going to be making a shop GUI, as well as some other buttons, such as the settings, and information. Without further ado, let's go. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to my starter GUI. I'm going to go to the reset progress. I'm going to go to my prompt button. And I'm actually going to make it the same size. So 11, 11. If I can, there we go. Now I'm also going to add in a, U, um, a, co oh, a UI aspect constraint. What this does is it kind of makes it so you can only really have it as a block, which is fine. And this always like kind of makes sure that it's always going to be the same size. Then I'm going to put this here, roughly in the middle. And if we go to test really quickly, you'll see that it stays in place, but it doesn't. It's the same size, but it doesn't stay in place. And we will be fixing that in this video. And with this prompt button. I'm going to add in an ID. If you want these IDs, they will be in the document that I always link in the descriptions. Uh, you just want to click on the link and go to it. They will always be there. And we're also going to be adding in an image and a an hover image. So we're going to go to image, choose file. And this button, and it will still work if you're still curious. It will still work even if I've changed the images. It will just look more professional, I guess. So what ha what we're gonna do now is that when I click this, it's gonna make a sound, and when I hover it, it's also gonna make a sound. Now to do this, it's not entirely complicated. You just have to add sounds. The sounds, if you want, it can be anything you want, as long as you just name them the, uh, your own sounds. Unfortunately for the sounds, I'm not allowed to give them to you because I did buy them myself. Well, not buy them. Um, I got them from someone else, which was a, as a gift, and I can't resell it, guys, back to you. But the UIs were made by me, so you guys can have the UIs. Now. Uh, to do this, I'm going to add in my four, um, I'm going to paste in my four sounds. As you can tell, you've got the confirm, you've got an error, you've got a menu click, and you've got a rebirth. I will play the sounds just for you to know. That's the confirm. That's the error. Menu click. And rebirth. So, now that I have all of these, we're also going to go over here to the prompt button and we're going to create a new uh, local script within this. Now for this local script, we're just going to call this a uh, hover sound or sound hover. Now the sound hover is a really, really simple like just genuinely simple um, script and once again I can't give you the uh, sounds but I will paste it my sound into it this is the sound so in order to do this we're gonna do local GUI object 
is equal to script dot parent and we're going to do local sound is equal to script wait for child sound and then what we're going to do is a simple function we're going to do gui object dot mouse button one or mouse button mouse enter connect function open brackets sound play well this is just like this is a remote or like an event so now when I press play uh, when I hover this it will play now we're gonna do the same for these two buttons we're gonna just copy this sound hover and we're going to paste it into the no and yes perfect just like this then we're gonna go back to this local script and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a couple of changes so we're going to define all our sounds so we're gonna do local confirm or confirm sorry confirm uh, is equal to script dot parent dot not changed confirm we're going to do this the same for every single one so you can copy this four times and change each one so this one's going to be error this is going to be error I don't know why but I keep stuttering today I think it's just because it's really hot you do menu click MC and then for this one we're going to do rebirth so reb now that we have this we can go over here add in a new line and we can do um, MC and we can do play so when it's clicked it's like it shows us then for the yes if it clicks yes we want to do after the function down here oh no sorry after the function we want to do rebirth oh, reb uh, rebirth play and then if it's no we want to put it here and we want to do confirm we're going to do play so now when we press play you'll see that when I click this it plays the sound and when I press no it plays this however I play the yes it plays the rebirth sound pretty cool right now that we've got that out of the way we're gonna also now edit the stage stuff so we're gonna go over here to and now when we press play you'll see that up here it still says stage one um and the percentage has disappeared shockingly oh it's because i haven't changed the position i should probably do that for everything but now when i press test you'll see everything is perfect except for that percent i'm not sure why that percent is just being special so for now i'm just going to leave the text transparency to one and obviously delete the UI stroke so it just doesn't appear anyway now we're going to create the show stats just so that uh, once again if someone loads in too early they will not see that it's just called label 
So we're going to make the shop UI now. So we're actually just going to copy this whole reset progress. I'm just going to duplicate it or paste into. Then I will grab this prompt button and I will move it upwards like so. And I'm going to change this reset progress to shop UI or just shop. It doesn't matter if I'm honest. Now first we're going to change the prompt button icons. And now you can see it increases. Now if I'm correct, the prompt the Com the prompt sound will still work when I click it, when I hover over it. We do need to change, however, this confirm frame. So we're going to create this visible once again. And we are going to change a few things. We're going to change the actual frame image. As you can tell, it says exclusive shop. Um, and however, we do also just need to quickly check that if I press the confirm frame here and I make it visible, it's not going to be a massive difference. I think that's good enough. Right. So then, we are going to make these not visible. So we're not going to make them visible. It's always you can. So I'm just going to repeat this. I've made it bigger. And I'm going to put it roughly in the middle. So it kind of sticks out. And instead of this now 2 times speed, we're going to duplicate this. We're going to, sorry, we're going to get the 2 times jump. We're going to duplicate this once again. Bring it over here. I'm going to change the image. Well, first let's actually change this to two times, two times wins, and we're going to change the image now. Now that we have all the game passes, we're going to go back to our uh, local script, and we're going to obviously change this whole bit so we can just delete this because we're not going to need it and we are going to need our new variables so these will be these we can also delete the local yes and no because we're just not going to need those and now for the actual whole script remember guys this whole script is going to be in the uh, description already so now and finally now I mean actually no, I'm just gonna move this back up sorry it's really bothering me I'm gonna move this back up and now we're gonna go to the actual buttons themselves and we're going to add in a prompt script this prompt script is pretty easy um, once again I will just be adding this in the description as a script because this video is getting quite long we're going to first do this with two times speed. We're going to add in a local script. We're going to name this local script prompt script. And inside this prompt script, we're just going to copy this paste into it. Now, as you know, we need to change our game pass ID. And as you know, again, we have our game pass is in here. So this would be the two times win. So go over here to our two times win game pass, get our game pass ID, go back to the prompt script and paste it in. Perfect. Now let's just repeat this. So once again, we're going to copy this. We're going to close the two times wins. And we're going to actually paste it into the two times jump and the two times speed. And we're going to go over here to the two times speed. We've got the ID here. 
go over to your speed prompt script and change the ID and go over here finally to the two times jump copy the game pass ID go to your two times jump prompt script and change the game pass ID and so now if I just make this confirm frame not visible when I press play two times wins is not a valid ah that's probably why there's an error I'm just going to quickly fix this it says two times wins is not a valid member of image label uh, yeah, it's just because I have accidentally made this a two, uh, capital X. I'll just change that, the name. So now when we press play again, when we click on our shop, it will open it up. And if I press this two times speed, it will say we already own this game pass. If we change it over here to this 2x, already own this game pass. And for the wins, already own the game pass. But in theory, it will prompt you if you don't own the game pass and with that I think that's everything I'm going to be able to do today um, if you like the video please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye